Starting tomorrow, people can dial 988 for help with a mental health emergency. The National Suicide Prevention Hotline is changing as we continue to deal with a mental health crisis. This affects a lot of people, including our teenagers. Here's the good news. There are a lot of local resources which can help. To talk more about the options, Dr. Selena Webster-Bass with the Voices Institute and Renaya Byers with the Boys and Girls Club, both joining us. Thank you so much for coming on this morning. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. Right. We're excited to be here. Of course, of course. Let's start with you, Doc. So the Voices Institute, some people know what that is, others don't. What is your focus when it comes to, to mental health in our community? Yeah, so the Voices Institute, we are a training and research group focused on advancing health equity in communities of color. And so we do lots of trainings with young people around mental health and well-being. We also train health professionals in cultural competency as well as uh, mental health and racial stress and trauma. And uh, we've partnered with the Boys and Girls Club and the Partnership for Child Health in promoting youth well-being uh, at the Boys and Girls Springfield location. Sure. And so we've been doing this work for over a year. And you've said, hey, we want to do an event. And so Renaya, one of our student okay. leaders, helped us to plan that event. And we had a listening session and the youth told us what they wanted to do at this event. So we're excited to bring awareness to the 988 number and to suicide prevention and well-being. That's amazing. Renaya, I'm going to ask you about that event in just a little <laughs> bit, but let's start. So you are representing the Boys and Girls Club. Yes, you do I a am. lot when it comes to mental health with the boys and girls in our community. Tell me about the programs, what you're able to do. Okay, so with this program, we're able to make people feel comfortable and able to share their experience on mental health and how they feel about mental health and basically ask them about their mental health and how they're doing. This program is a little something to have fun with and to learn more on the mental health side and also to learn about the suicide prevention hotline number 98 that is changing tomorrow. Yeah. So it's just like many breakout sessions mm -hmm. and many games to really understand mental health and understand to how to manage your mental health and cope through everything right. and know that you have a lesser 388 number, I mean 988 number to call. Yeah, that 988 number. And, you know, I, I think someone like you just shows that, that you can be approachable. I, I yeah. think traditionally we think of mental health and it's going to the hospital and, you know, mm -hmm. being under the microscope and people asking you all these questions, but it, it's talking to a friend, talking to a mentor, talking to somebody in the community, right, Doc? Yeah, absolutely. And we want you to know that they're not alone and that it's okay to not be okay. Yeah. And so this event is really about connecting young people to resources. We'll have Daniel Kids there. We'll have uh, Baptist Health there with the On Our Sleeves campaign. So lots of resources and uh, lots of entertainment. The youth have designed step groups around uh, mental health. They are yeah. singing and dancing and we're having a kick mental health stigma yeah. kickball contest which was their Actually, idea right. so okay yeah so we're okay. excited about that. So it's about getting that stigma out of there saying look we all have our mental health struggles yeah. we all do yeah. some more than others but we can we can talk about it right mm -hmm. we can talk about it. What's been your favorite experience going down this journey? My Renata? favorite experience has been the news part and getting many interviews and learning mental health and how to cope with mental health and knowing that we have resources that can help us with mental health and not just by ourselves and thinking about it by ourselves. Sure, yeah. sure. You said that perfectly because I think so many people think that they're alone yeah. in this battle. They say, nobody wants to hear my problems. Nobody wants to talk mm -hmm. about this. That's not the case. You just, you got to let somebody know. You got to let somebody know what you're dealing yeah. with. Yeah. And just recently, CDC released a study that showed 40% of youth have uh, poor mental health. And so mm -hmm. we really want to support youth during this time of the pandemic. And also during, you know, racial stress and trauma, we're experiencing sure. a lot of polarization. And we want youth to know that they have a place to come to be supported and to be valued and respected. Well, thank you both for coming on. Thanks for what you're doing in the community. And I, I do want to talk one more time, uh, you know, about that event because it is today. There are the details right there on your screen. So Stop what you're doing. Look at it. Boys and Girls Club, 313 East 10th Street. That's the Springfield location. You've got two sessions, one for the children, one for adults. And if you've got more questions, maybe you can't make it today, reach out to the club and they'll be happy to help.